Travelers to hang my coat. <laughs> Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Lalika and welcome to the Interconti. It's more spacious than I expected. <laughs> it's wheeling my suitcase into the closet. That's not helpful, is it? Oh, but it's got a little shelf here. You really can't see. This is the light. This is as light as it gets. Yay, slippers. And, oh, actually soft bathrobes. Oh, it's got fluff inside it. Should you wish to purchase one? Well, the arms are a bit short. Where's the light switch? So there's this little desk area, getting ready area, which is really nice, since it is actually opposite the closet. Mouthwash. Oh, bath salts. An actual Colgate toothpaste. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh my goodness. I love how they do this sometimes, a hair tight. Oh, and a nail file. Perfect. Because everybody wants to know what their weight is when they're in a hotel. Branded water. And always my favourite. Oh, there's even a light right over the bathtub. So it looks quite deep. It just doesn't look that big. But I mean, I'm going to fit. Really nice. Yay, I'm well looking forward to that. And they already have a bath mat out. Oh, and a seat in the shower. Oh, I've got a loafer in the shower already. And then a separate loo. Now, i got to be honest. I don't know if I was with somebody else. Even though you, you'd see their feet, let's be honest. But I just don't know how I would feel sharing a bathroom. Oh, and look, also, they are literally going to hear everything. And then the view is all right. I'm on the 33rd floor, I think. Right in the city centre, apparently. I did see a Starbucks. Oh, I, I think that's it right there. So the room itself is actually quite large, a lot of seating area, oh thank goodness there's a fridge because I need to chew off this water, more water, just the regular tea and coffee, nothing exciting, I should have got my Milo with me, oh there's my tea, that's nice. really that exciting in here. A lot of empty dance space really. Really great for one person and then granddad's chair over there. That looks really tired. And then I don't know what the point of this piece of furniture is. Inter Conti Club closed. The fitness center and swimming pool are open. So I've got breakfast included which is it's a 6 to 10.30. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> We're on the corner of McDonald's and Care For. I've just come back from breakfast. <sighs> I wonder if this has happened all over China. Because it's been so long since tourists have come in that these brand name hotel have just changed their buffet offering to match the local market so I totally get it whereas I wonder if before COVID they had a better balance because basically I'm left with fruit. They say it's omelettes but it's literally just like fried egg. It was nice because it was in a little shape but there was no salt and pepper anywhere <laughs> And I realise I'm probably the only person in the restaurant that wants salt and pepper. But I also have no way to ask for it. This, what else do they have? There were sausages and there were different like sauces and things which was nice. But a lot of it, like the majority of it is not anything that I want to eat for breakfast. <laughs> the check-in is so slow in China because we're foreigners and so they have to go off and take a photocopy of our passport and it's just not organized. I had to ask, I don't, and I don't think I should, like clearly my booking includes breakfast, but there's no way that this gentleman could or should assume 
that I'd ever been here before to know where it was and what time it's going to happen. I do want to go down and check out the fitness centre and see if the pool is actually open because I know some of these services in China haven't been open for a good long amount of time and again the website is like just don't believe it like the executive lounge don't believe it because it's not happening it's like nine 40 something in the morning and I've just had a knock on the door and it was housekeeper. It's a weekend <laughs> and breakfast isn't closed at this point. I did actually, when I went to breakfast I hung out the thing saying please make up my room. I have taken it off because I'm literally in here. But then of course, and I don't expect, because I don't, but then I'm like oh can you come back later and I'm like pointing to my watch she doesn't understand not a clue <laughs> so I hope that they don't forget so I don't really have nice things to say about the service so far but at breakfast they don't take away the plates quickly so I've literally come back and there's still four plates sitting there yeah just the level of service hasn't been what I expected so far I don't know if it's a China thing or if it's hotels just across the board because they'd given me two <laughs> and they are very nice towels don't get me wrong they're big and they're delicious and lovely but didn't I have the same problem and like literally all of the hotels that I've stayed in 